making this video to talk about my uh, boxcar that I bought that has a built-in track cleaner underneath. I've never used one before. Um, it's a Walters train line. comes in actually in a really nice box for storing because I don't think you want to leave this on your track all the time. Gives you a tiny bit of warranty information and some uh, another way to order parts on the back. That's all the paperwork that comes inside. And basically it's just, it's this. That's what it, the unit is. I bought it on eBay and it was about, uh, I think I paid about 22 bucks, maybe 26 with shipping. So they have several different uh, railroad uh, names. Just to know if these are old fashioned type box cars. They were probably the first round of the steel ones in the 30s and 40s. So they're low profile. So you can kind of see it next to my, if I put it next to one of my Burlington Northerns, you can kind of see what it is, how low it is. That's kind of a tall one, but they are quite a bit lower. It has underneath, it has a Bright Boy basically strapped to it with a spring-loaded tensioner. Um, it, it's smooth and it tapers up on the edges, front and back, so if you hit a little bump on your track, it's not gonna stop or jam up on you. Um, I used it, I've only used it now twice, and I was really, my track's not dirty, I just bought it just in case, because I am painting my track, and I wanted to run over it just in case I get some uh, paint that I didn't scrape off, that's why I really bought it. Um, it does, it, it did that pretty well, but I, my track's not dirty, so I really can't say 100% if it works great, but I assume it does, because I look at underneath and it's pretty, it's picked up some stuff. It, you run it dry, just like it's just like a bright boy. And I have not cleaned it, because I've only used it a few times, but when I clean my bright boy, I just use alcohol to wipe it down. And that seems to do the job. You can actually probably just push it if you want to. You can hear it dragging or you can pull it with your locomotive. I'll tell you, I pulled it with a load of cars. I had this whole train, that one there, all hooked up with it the first time. And it does, it, it's probably got a pretty good grip on the track. So it, it, it's, a, it's a load. It's probably equivalent to pulling three or four uh, or five kind of heavier cars because of the pressure it's putting down on the track. So I just ran it around the uh, track with one of my older F units and uh, just a caboose just to make it look kind of like a little maintenance deal um, and it ran good it pulls um, when I pulled it with the whole train it slid it bogged it down a little bit um, like I say there's a little bit of tension there but for me it seems to work pretty good I'm not telling everyone to go and buy one uh, you can use a bright boy the reason I really wanted to do it in the first place is my the back areas of my layout over there i can't reach very well back there it's hard for me to reach far back behind all the uh, buildings and, and by the hills i can do it but it is tight and with this i don't have to worry about it i just use this and it seems to uh do the job so that was my main reason to get it and to, like i say clean keep the track kind of clean um what i also do myself is when i'm done with this I, any of the spots that I thought were dirty, I do dab them a little bit with alcohol on the track just because these do tend to scrape off and leave a little bit of uh, debris behind if there is anything on your track. So, but that's all I have to say. I think it's a nice little piece of equipment for your train set. Um, I, I personally don't think you need to run around constantly carrying it as a permanent fixture of a car. I think some guys do, and that's okay. I just don't uh, want to do that. Uh, like I say, it, it does provide a little bit of a load bearing on your train. But also, I don't like the fact that it's kind of low profile and antique looking. I because I run pretty much most mostly modern '60s and up trains. So this one is a little older than that. So, but it it it's, it looks nice and it looks very quality built. Um, it's got a lot of nice little detail in the plastic shell, and it's it's very heavy. It's got a lot of weight built inside of it. You'd have to take it apart to look at it, but there is weight inside. So, well, that's all I have on this. Uh, just leave me a comment if you have any other questions. 
let me know. Thank you.